In this screencast I'll show you how to calculate the compressibility factor for a non-associating system using PC SAFT. Now the main reference is shown here, reference 1, that's where all the equations have come from. Uh, reference 2 is used for some other parameters and reference 3 uh, is, is useful for another equation that gets implemented within this video. So in the first video I showed you how to calculate the Helmholtz free energy and I showed you a custom function that really made this a lot easier. I'm now going to use this custom function to calculate compressibility factor. So on this worksheet everything's a lot simplified uh, and what we can do is we can actually work out the partial derivative of the Helmholtz free energy with respect to the packing fraction and then we have an equation here, equation A22 from reference 1 that will allow us to calculate the compressibility factor. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to calculate the value of A res at several different points. So this is the implementation of the VBA custom function and we've calculated the residual Helmholtz free energy for slightly different values of the packing fraction here. And we've done that so that we can implement this formula here which is used for numerical differentiation of a function using a five point stencil. Now if you look at reference three it will give some details of where this equation comes from. So in order to implement this we need slightly different values of the packing fraction. So what we've got first of all is the packing fraction here take away two lots of h. So h is sort of the step length away from the original value that we had of the packing fraction. And then we have the packing fraction take away one lot of h, the packing fraction add on one lot of h, and the packing fraction add on two lots of h. And h has been calculated for us based on the packing fraction value multiplied by this small increment here, delta. So this has just been set as 10 to the minus 4, just as a value that works out fairly well in terms of being able to calculate this problem. OK, so then we implement this equation shown here. So we've got our various values, we've got our h value, and if we implement this, we get the partial derivative of the Helmholtz free energy with respect to packing fraction. We can then work out the compressibility factor using the equation shown here, which is equation A22 from reference 1, and that states that Z equals 1 plus eta, the packing fraction, times by the partial derivative of the Helmholtz free energy with respect to eta, the packing fraction. So we've just done that here. So we've got partial derivative multiplied by the value of the packing fraction and add on 1. Now I also have written a custom function that works out the, pack, the, the compressibility factor for us. So in order to do that you type equals PC SAFT Z open brackets and put in the relevant terms. Now the information for this custom function is shown here in terms of what you need to put in and what these things are. So it's very similar to the equals PC SAFT A function that I showed in the previous video. And if you come over to Developer and click on Module 2, it will show you uh, all the equations and all the code that's gone into this. Now, the way this has been written isn't actually the same way that I've just shown you in the spreadsheet. It's actually implementing some equations to directly calculate Z from the paper shown here, which is the paper that we've been using in the main spreadsheet. So if you want to take a look at that in some more detail, I'll include a link to this spreadsheet within the video description. So this has been a short screencast to show you how to calculate the compressibility factor for a non-associating system using PCSAF.